I would like to just share with you some thoughts I have as I approach this office. One of the key questions all of us together have to decide is how high, how high do we want to lift our expectations? It's already a matter of conversation on the street. How high do we want to reach in terms of our economic life, our educational capability, our environmental quality, our control of behavior in our society? Those are tough questions. To answer the question of how high do we reach, we need to ask ourselves, what resources do we have to work with? Obviously, we have one which we all see today, and that is the beauty of this state. Obviously, we have others, and that is the resources that lie in our land. We also have other advantages, such as the central location of this state in the United States. But the most important resource of all is here. You, the people of Colorado. Whatever we decide that our expectations shall be, it has to be based upon what it is that we think we're capable of as human beings. History will be shaped by us, not by anything else. Therefore, we should look at each other and say, what are our capabilities? I think there are two characteristics to that answer. One, what are our skills? And second, what is our attitude? Skills and attitude, in my judgment, will be really finally determinative of the kind of history that we will shape. All of us can understand skills. We see them in our vocation. We see them in the way we exercise our talents in politics and government in the private sector. But the more important question to discuss is not skills, but attitude. Let's think together for a moment, what makes a person's attitude? What makes a society's attitude? I think the first characteristic is, does it believe that it can be done? Any task we approach, the first, first question is, do we believe that it can be done? That shapes our attitude. The second question is, are we, willing to, are we willing to risk trying it? Do we believe it can be done? Are we willing to risk trying it? And the third characteristic of attitude is, are we willing to put in the effort, the commitment to carry it through? Let me use a secular analogy of that that occurred last Sunday. That immortal philosopher of the West, Keith Bishop, when he came back to the huddle on the one and a half yard line said, quote, now that we got them where we want them, let's go. <clears throat> Just think a moment. In that statement was a belief that it could be done, a willing to risk it, and an absolute commitment of effort to accomplish the task. Let's carry that over then in terms of some illustrations that we face. Education. During the campaign, I said, let's move from the middle where we are now to the top quartile. And I said, let's do it in seven years. And then I said, after we reach the top quartile, let's move to the top 10%. I didn't know how long it would take us to do that. But I'd like to lay a new challenge out today. Why stop at the top 10%? I see no reason, I see no reason that this state ought not be able to set the example of being the best educated group of people in the United States. Yeah. <clears throat> beauty. Let's talk about beauty for a moment. We inherited a great deal. We are now at a time which the beauty of this state is being shaped, for better or for worse, by the way we grow, by the way we treat our land, our water, our air. Surely, surely, as we face the challenge of the years ahead, that we can say not only can we be, be top in education, but that we as a people can plan our affairs so that this state will absolutely be the example to the nation of a place where people cared enough that as they grow, they not only did not diminish the beauty, but increase the beauty of this state. 
And all you need to do is to look at the front range and the beautiful possibility we have of orchestrating open space and living, uh, living arrangements that will make us more human. And again, as we look at the challenge, education, beauty, let's look at the challenge of growth. We have the sixth busiest airport in the world in this state. We're going to relocate that airport. We're going to develop a corridor called E-470 that will lead to and from that airport. Why cannot we build that in a way that establishes a grace, a style, and beauty that the nation will remember for 50 years? Why cannot we make that in the image of the, ma of the way in which we went over Vail Pass? Why cannot we build that so that 15 years from now when your relatives visit you in Denver or in the rest of Colorado and they ask, show me the three most beautiful things in your state that we'll want to take them to that new area of growth and say, this represents a people that did it right. We combined the values of a growing economy with an environment and a quality of life that made us proud. I think that also is one of our challenges. <clears throat> Let me throw out another. Let's think for a moment of the Rocky Mountain Arsenal, which is now polluted. Can we imagine the day when we will have tulips growing there that do not glow in the dark? I think we can. Or even another challenge. Are we strategic enough, smart enough, committed enough that we can help all of the areas of this state grow so that the health, the health of our rural neighbors will be such that we will be borrowing from them to keep our economy growing on the front range. These are some of the challenges that I would lay out. How then do we proceed? We've talked about how we, the citizens of Colorado, are looking upon the future as an architect looks upon a rock pile. We're about to approach the 21st century. What is the cathedral that we want to build not a physical building, but the cathedral of a society organized to express what it values most. That is our challenge. It is a wonderful thing, wonderful thing, to be in control of your own destiny. It is a marvelous thing to be a free citizen and to have the power collectively to shape our history collectively. The simple test of political action is to, express, to collectively express what we value most. Goethe said, whatever you can do or dream you can do, begin it. Boldness has a power and a magic and a genius in it. Coloradans, you're your own competition. Do not consent to be average. There's a history out there that we can shape together. Let us begin. Thank you.